describe Wireshark's purpose. Now, if you've been using Wireshark for a while, you probably already feel very comfortable with Wireshark's purpose. In general, Wireshark's purpose is to capture and analyze network traffic for troubleshooting, optimization, security, also referred to as network forensics, capacity planning, and so many other functions. Currently, Wireshark is the world's most popular network analyzer. Of course, it's an open source tool, it's under the GNU license, and it's an ideal first responder tool. First responder tool, this is important. There are unfortunately too many times when people put Wireshark at the end of their troubleshooting task list, and then they are pulling out their hair trying to figure out what's going on in the network. Whereas if they just picked up the packets and looked at them in Wireshark, they would have known what the problem was right away and they could have focused in on that faulty switch or router or application or whatever the problem is. Wireshark is maintained by a huge and very active community of developers from all over the world. Let's jump over to Wireshark for a moment so I can show you the list of the Wireshark contributors. To find the list, we can simply go up under Help, About Wireshark, and then you'll see an Authors tab. We can see Gerald Combs right on top, and you can see his email address. A number of the authors have their email addresses available here. Let's go into a little bit of Wireshark history here. This is a great quote from Gerald Combs. He's the creator of Wireshark, which was formerly Ethereal. He just basically said during a presentation at Sharkfest in 2012 that he started on a weekend project that got way out of hand. What a great quote. Gerald Combs began writing Ethereal back in 1997 because he needed a tool to track down some network problems. And at the time, he did not work at a company that had a budget to buy a Network General Sniffer, which was the hot network analyzer at the time. He actually released Ethereal in July of 1998, and within days, a number of patches and bug reports and encouragement began arriving, and he realized that he had definitely hit a nerve in the industry. The early contributors to Ethereal include Gilbert Ramirez, Guy Harris, and Richard Sharp. In 2006, because of a trademark dispute with the name Ethereal, the project was renamed to Wireshark, which is great because at one point the name Ether Weasel was considered, and that just doesn't sound right. In 2008, Gerald considered that Wireshark was ready to be released as a stable version. So, at the Sharkfest conference that year, Gerald released Wireshark 1.0. Let's go out and take a look at what the current value is of Wireshark. Now, this will be an estimated value. Over at the Wireshark.org webpage, under the Develop tab, if you go to the latest builds, Look down on the bottom of this list and you'll see a document called slowcount.txt. So if we look here, we can see some statistics about the lines of code. And at the bottom of this document, you will see an estimate on the value of the development of Wireshark, which at the time I'm pulling this is a little over $81 million. You can see also an estimate for the number of person years that it has taken to get Wireshark to its current version. Wireshark is considered one of the most successful open source projects in history. 